Welcome to Aaron Plays. In this video we'll be going through the French fifth turn of the La Battelle de Hanau by, by Legion War Games. Um, so it's the fifth turn so it's at three o'clock in the afternoon. Um, so far we have the French pushing here and pushing back the Austrians and Bavarians infantry across this swollen stream. Um, this has been attacked by the Imperial Guard and here we've been having well, the start of a cavalry battle which will probably continue into this turn. Going through the turn sequence we are now at um, the checking army morale. Um, currently the French are on 20 actual physical losses with 22 for their army morale because they've got two assorted units over here. The coalition have got 34 step losses, but their army morale is at 53, 53 due to all this disordered units. Each disordered unit counts as one loss towards the army morale level. Um, the Austrian coalition morale level, um, when you have to take for uh, demoralization, is 60. So they are actually only seven points away from that benchmark. Okay, so now checking command status for the French. Napoleon is up the top here. Okay, and all these commanders have got to be within 10 hexes of him. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So this is another one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So he's the furthest, and he's within maybe this guy. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, yep. Okay, so, and then the actual units for each of them are all got to be within six of their commander, which they are, apart from this guy here, but Napoleon will command him directly. Um, so, yep, the French are all in command. And now we go to the cavalry charges step. Okay, the cavalry charge phase. I've got multiple charges coming in here. And I'll start with this one over here. They will declare a charge on these guys, ostensibly to pin them. This will be into their rear, um, so they can't really react to that. So there is one charge going in. The next one is against these guys over here. Okay. Um, and I'm going to be doing a combined charge. So I only technically have to declare this once I'm adjacent. So their front is those three hexes there. So the line that they go into needs to include that front. And there they are in that position with Sebastiani on top. Okay, then they move one two three four facing change five to there now this is where it gets a little bit complicated i just recall that i've spent five movement points to that point there Okay, uh, it's all in the camera, just making sure. Okay, so at this point, Fresnel could counter charge unless I declare a combined charge. And this is what I'm going to do. So declaring a combined charge, that means some other unit of mine must be brought up at this point. I have had a discussion with my um, opponent via phone and he said if a combined charge is declared he will voluntarily disorder those cavalry so that's what they do because i have declared a combined charge so which means they disorder back two hexes one two okay and we are in turn um five so they will get a turn four marker underneath them there 
okay yeah when you voluntary disorder you get a marker one less than the current turn so it means you can actually rally a little bit quicker okay so another four marker there and Fresnel there okay so as they have voluntary disorders I can continue my charge question is do I want to so let's just check the numbers on this okay so yes they'll push on so it's five six seven to there okay now in here I have got two three four five six steps so I could get a seventh step in there if they had a one step cavalry unit which I don't think I have so right any other well I had to declare another unit charging these guys which would be this one over here he's a light cavalry unit he has got unit number nine all four steps so goes into line four five six seven eight okay obviously his target's gone eight so at that point I will stop him um, so he will have to voluntary disorder as well all right I'll tell you what we'll go nine to there and voluntary disorder so he'll get a four marker and he'll falls back into there not making contact right and then the salty will actually now come and join this charge I think we need his expertise okay so the other charge I might have is these guys into these got six movement points to move across the stream so interesting enough will these guys form square so declaring a charge and into there for seven movement points just make sure that's right so it's one plus six for the stream seven eight Eight at that point that is their best chance to form a square so they take a morale check to do so and they get a bonus for this because it's three hexes away so it's an, a nine to form a square which they do okay I don't think I'm going to continue that charge. I'm not charging into a square. Um, they're currently at eight movement points. So I will, at that point, voluntary disorder them. I need another four marker. I'm running out. Well, I. I must admit, the actual game itself comes with too few numerical markers. Yeah, I know they've got one actual counter sheet, but there are too few numerical markers. Okay, and I'll have those disorder 
back across the stream there. So, as such, with okay, some numerical markers under them. All this charging means Sebastian's fatigue will go up to three. Do I really want to go in here now? I think the answer is probably not. Because they'll be all at... Um, one value and there's seven steps that I'll be all at one value for charging across the stream my combat values rather than being at for example this cover unit here which has a combat value of six multiplied by three normally 18 um, he'll only be coming in the combat value of one times three effectively three um, which is not so good. It'll be uh, on par, but I'll actually have less, better general. Ah, oh, these streams are a real pain. Okay. I think I'm going to have to declare that as a voluntary withdrawal as well. A uh, voluntary disorder. Okay, and they go back to to there. So then the Celti might as well stay with whom he was with. And these guys end the charge. In disorder. Any other charges? Um these guys could charge um, you know for changing the face in that way one two three four five no they can't they can't get down there no no further charges okay into the movement phase I think the first thing is we want to bring up some guns. It's a nice juicy square here now. Okay. So one, two, three. If I bring him in there, these Cossacks could charge him. So I don't think that is a good good idea. But three to there. Can't cross the stream, well, can cross the stream, but cross three movement. Three movement points to cross the stream, I think, right away. We spent three so far. Is it plus three for a stream? It is, so we won't be able to unlimber. So we might as well unlimber there. Okay. We've got a foot battery over here, and that will go. That'll be four, five to there. This battery's going to stay here to fire at that. These three cavalry here. Okay, facing change. Facing change, that'll be one, two, three, four. Plus six for the string so that takes them to ten i think there's one yes yeah, this one there was only eight so those move across and base change to there this guy here well actually hmm. he'll remain there 
Okay, Napoleon, guys. One, two, three, four. Ah, it's only plus six to cross a steam in a charge. So otherwise, it's plus two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten into there. So that means that guy could have got to there. Okay. I was counting it plus six. Do. All right. Um, okay, so the foot batteries of the Imperial Guard over here. Hmm. Um, I think we want to start actually th bring, thinking about what we're going to do. Because we need to get into this town at some point. However, I want to break this up. One battery isn't enough at the present moment. So, two... Three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Okay. He has got some Cossacks here, but if they come this way, there are guns to protect the upcoming guns now what I want to try and do with the Imperial Guard is not move them so I can recover fatigue hopefully and also the ones that are stacked with a leader actually recover some morale so that there is the guard unit it's going to be stacked with Victor. It doesn't have to be their leader, it just says a leader. This one here is unit 31. So let's take two losses. Maybe that's not the best unit to try. And, I was thinking of trying to cross the stream here. Um, but you've got to start adjacent to it, and then the following turn you can move across. And by the looks of it, we have some artillery and Bavarians that might take a slight disliking to that um, attitude from me. So let's no, let's not do that. Okay, so these guys here are going to stay where they are. The guns, and that's going to stay where they are. These guys here are going to try and shoot these away. So this just leaves McDonald's boys here. Okay, and they are going to advance in line. One. Change facing boy. Do we need to change facing? Um, so I want the artillery to shoot into here to try and disorder these guys up. Okay. So one. Two. Facing change to there. Okay, one, two. Three to there. That means that they and they get an opportunity to fire a shot in there. Okay. Of course they hit. <laughs> of course they do. All right, morale check on that French unit. Eight. His morale is eight. Okay. That shot would have been rendered as they were in there, which is their facing, front facing. So they move into there, but they have one less step. So that will be unit 28. 
is their first step loss. At that point, they form line. Okay, they've done four movements, so their fatigue goes up to three. Okay, um, leave this battery drawn and the Emperor. Battery, isn't it? Yeah, it's only got five, so you can move one hex, and that's pretty much it. Again, there's not many targets, but there are no targets. I could bring it down here. Let's do that. So that's two, three, four. We'll go and sit there. Okay, and then the Emperor. He's got ten movement. One, two, three, four, five. Five. Five at that point. I don't want to be too far from here. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Let's see what these guard. I think that will conclude the movement phase for the French. Defensive fire phase. Okay, so starting here with his gun. Target threat there, so it's four, four, three, two, but through its own skirmishes is one. Fire value of one. Fires this way, four, three, two, one. Yeah, so fire threat of one. No effect. Leave a little red dice to what we've gone. Okay. So where's next? Uh, no. Okay. No, no, no. Right. Looks like there's, they've only got two lots of defensive fire. So this guy. Hmm. He needs to. The um, reason why I brought Napoleon up, he needs to cause two casualties for me to check um, their morale. So, none of that's, yeah, this is not going to cause two, but might as well sh shoot at them. They've got a fire strength of one. No effect. Okay, and then moving down here, fire strength of one, two, three onto this unit. No. And then one onto those. No. No casualties from Austrian fire. Okay, so that's the defensive fire phase. There is something that I have forgotten to do. It's not exactly forgotten. It's I'll, I'll put it in the wrong phase. Actually, at the end of a movement phase, there can be some recovery of un units with leaders that don't move and the unit doesn't move and it hasn't been fired upon and they've got to be in good order um, let me just double check the rule so troop integration a leader can attempt to recover losses to an infantry or cavalry unit at the end of the movement phase i thought it was in the rally phase to attempt to recover losses the leader and unit must be stacked together unit is in good order and has taken at least one step loss out of fire range of enemy units 
and leader and unit have not moved during the movement phase. So, one unit I was trying to recover was here, and here again there's no one fire range. Um, those two have not moved in those two sets. Druo's only just joined here, so that one can't count. Napoleon's only just joined there, and MacDonald and such forth can't recover. And the cavalry over here are in disorder. So, in this stack here, Victor. All right, there's an Imperial Guard unit and one of his own. That is unit um, 31. 31 has taken two step losses. He will try and recover the one on his own unit. Okay, their morale is eight and Victor makes nine. Okay, so they will recover a step. Then onto this unit here with Friant. It's unit number two. Yep. Well, well the current morale is in, is ten plus three is thirteen. So that you know, they fell on a twelve. So they recover a step. Okay. So, yeah, some guys obviously struggling in the back here have returned back to the colours. Now on to my offensive fire. Okay, so there's nothing here, it's just cavalry, but this gun will fire at the square, which will be one, two, three. So it's five, four, three, minus one for the skirmishes, two. But I believe plus one because they are in square. They are. Okay, so plus one. So it's back to three. With a four, I believe that is a hit on the square. Okay, they're in difficult terrain. Fire effect. Oh, difficult terrain. Fire. Effects on minus one. I think that might just save them because I rolled on a three to, yeah, I needed a, yeah, being in the difficult terrain. Uh, effect on target. Effects on fire combat, yeah. Minus one. Okay. That's a miss. Another five from here. This battery into that cavalry. So that's six, five. With a three, that is a hit. I think that's their last step. So, unit eight. Yeah, that is their last step, so they are gone. Which means that my cavalry here do not have a target. So, they also disorder all right so moving down the line here now there's a gun battery in here that's six so six five into that infantry unit That is a step loss. Okay, that's unit 21. Oh, it's a gun. Okay, that will be a full step loss on it because they're limbered. Okay, so they've got actually a half a step left. Um, doing a morale check on them, they are eight. Eight morale. 
sorted. Sixth row. They take it. That's unfortunate because I really wanted them to bring them back in there. Oh well. Then from here, here and here, firing into Nafoy. It's minus two on each fire unit, so there's four, uh, two, four, six into, into there. Into the tank. Six with a four. We've got one or two steps. No, just the one. One step, and that's on unit 14. Okay, he's reached the grey box, so their morale is now seven. They take it. That's boo hiss. Hmm. Foiled again. Okay. Then this unit here, 28. Hmm. What's under here? There's two. There's only one in that. So he will fire on these disordered guys here. So it's five value of three. That's a miss. Alright, and then this would be a five value of three onto these guys. That will be a hit. All right, so unit twenty six. That was his second hit. Okay, and now his morale. Their morale currently is eight. Down to two for disorder for six, but the leader Canal brings them back up to eight. Ooh, they stand well. They're still disordered, but uh, yes, they they stand for that. Okay, I think that ends my firing. Um, yep, yes, indeed. French melee phase. Um, well, that's gone. There's no nothing here so up to me if I want to melee into this village now the options are if I do melee into the village um, the likelihood is yeah I can shift those guys out but I was hoping to try and recover because these guys French Imperial Guard haven't moved yet um, a fatigue point if I melee however they will accumulate a fatigue point but I was hoping those guys were going to go via firepower from the village. They didn't. Okay, they're going to go in in Malay. So that actually increases the fatigue up to six. These three units led by the Emperor. Um, for a total value of 20 versus seven. So not quite three to one. Okay, so it's two to one. However, they are led by the Emperor. So two to one. It's not a, it's not a two point five to one, unfortunately. That is accounting for the defence of the village. Basically, each of these melee values, which are four, become goes down two for taking into the village. Um, so they go down two. So yeah, so it's two to one with a plus one for the Emperor. That becomes a six. Now, their morale, uh, when I was doing the morale check for the five, was actually boosted for the town by two. So it was actually um, gone down by one for the losses. So it was seven plus two was nine. They passed anyway, but the morale was nine. Um, however, this will disorder them. So that's going to be a six on the two to one table. So it's a zero big D. They disorder. Okay. Um, in actual fact they were Bavarians so their morale would be two less as well facing the Imperial Guard so again uh, little errors okay alright so they disorder now the question is where 
they have to go into here okay um, which is fine because that doesn't overstack okay they then go into here which might do because there are three four five steps how many steps numbers unit 38 got it's only got four so it's nine steps so in actual fact they are okay so this is more oh, more four counters no no we're not in turn four we're in turn five aren't we yes the first time we can actually use a legitimate turn five counter on these two units as they stack here and we will send in O six. We'll put him at the bottom of the stack. O three. Yeah, put him at the top. There we go. Right. So we have taken Nohoff. Finally. However, that has increased, as you can see, their fatigue to six. Um, the morale was already dead load one by because of that, so they can't recover anything else. Um, Victor's units, he hasn't moved, and where's the other one of Victor's? Under, under here, they haven't moved. They have fired. That doesn't matter. Um, they haven't been a target themselves, so I think they actually recover two fatigue points. Um, just checking the fatigue rules. Uh, okay. Let's pause at that point. Yeah, so just ending the melee phase first before I go into getting carried away with fatigue. So over here, I can't melee across the river. Um, I think I probably could have melee across in column. But I was hoping to remove them with fire. So, so yeah, so no, no actual other melees by the looks of it. Into the rally phase. Okay, so we're in turn five. So anything with a three on my side can rally. It looks like they're all fours. So no rallies for me. Now the fatigue. So obviously the guard can't improve the fatigue because the weight has increased. Neither can McDonald's. However, Victors can, and because they haven't moved, and they haven't been fired upon, and they haven't been involved in money, they can recover two fatigue points. So he's back down to one. Um, the, car, the cavalries are, are as they are. So... Right, yes, I think that concludes my turn. Um, yeah, can't think of anything else that needs to be done. So, yes, thank you for watching. Um, the This will be um, shot and uploaded as soon as possible. Um, we've had um, five full turns, so we're not quite halfway through the, the battle. Um, so if you like what you've seen, um, hit that, that button, the like and subscribe if you've not done so already. Again, any comments, any questions, much appreciated. Um, so this section over here with the cavalry, that is probably as, as complex as it will get rules-wise with who can counter charge, why can they counter charge, um, combine charges and such forth. Um, it didn't go as I foresaw with him voluntarily disordering. Um, and me not, if I'd been able to go in at one to one, I probably would have done the charge, had the better leader, hopefully routed him. But coming in at less than actually his odds across that stream, and these streams are a pain, um, it's it's helped him considerably. So, yes, I, I'm thoroughly enjoying this, and I, and I hope you guys too. Thank you very much. Bye bye.